Welcome to another installment of our Shark Virtual Reality Experience. You join us as we are wrapping up on the very last day of shooting. We've been testing whether sharks are repelled by the smell of, well, dead sharks. And without giving the game away, you'll notice that compared to our other VR shoots, there are a lot less sharks around. Out over the reef behind us, there's the odd one or two, but nothing like what we're used to seeing on this location. I want to point out to you that rock in the middle of the stone circle, that's actually a fake rock. It's hollow, and we've jam-packed it with dead fish, fish guts, and fish blood. And yet, only one shark is venturing remotely close, and even he isn't going right in. So right now, we're doing just the last couple of pieces to camera. You can see Jamie there in the black suit talking to his camera. And then that's me in the distance with that super white helmet on talking to my cameraman. Pretty much everyone else is part of Stewart Cove Dive Bahamas, and they're there to make sure that we all get out safe and sound with all our fingers and toes. And boy, did they do a great job. Okay, so now it's 10 minutes later and it's time to get out. Jamie's gonna go up first and yep, there goes Jamie. It's pretty easy for him, he just has to swim up. This water is only 40 feet deep. We've been down here only 40 minutes, so he doesn't need what divers would call a safety stop. He can just swim to the top, get out and start chillaxing. If that's something that Jamie ever does. To be honest, I'm not sure it is. Uh, I once tried chillaxing in 1943, but it's not really my thing. Me, on the other hand, well, getting out for me is a little more difficult. Okay, so that's me there. And it's not just me, as you can see. I've got two people from Stewart Cove assisting me as I make my way up the anchor line to get back to the boat. The reason it's so difficult is the special comms helmet I'm wearing is incredibly heavy. Out in the open air, it weighs 80 pounds, and it's still darn heavy in the sea. So getting out is just plain awkward. I am literally having to go hand over hand. And if you look up, you can see that the ocean was a bit choppy. It was hard going. I must confess, I'm also not in a massive hurry because I'm still quite happy in my helmet looking around and seeing the odd shark here or there. It's absolutely beautiful. But eventually, I make it to the ladder, and that's my cue to get out onto the boat, where my next problem is, of course, seasickness. Great. So right now, I'm going to leave you and say thanks for watching. If you haven't seen our other shark videos where, trust me, there are sharks by the bucket load, then I'd recommend you check those out.